the wonderful Reverend Al Green tune, Take Me to the River in the Key of E Major. So find your ease, top of the two black notes, and get your majors happening, a third, a fifth, and know your inversions. Because you're going to need them, you're going to have to dig out some inversions in this tune in order to make it really sound as good as it can be. Now the main three chords in this tune are E, D, play the octaves if you can get there, and A. That inversion of A please, because that's going to make it easy for us get to get play the octaves if you can to get back to the E. Now once you get this happening, take me to the river D A E. Drop me in the water D A E. Then so much of this song is exactly that. A lot of the verse and a lot of the chorus. In fact, all of the chorus is just D, A, B. So already you've got the chorus going. Now let's look at the verse. You've got the first three quarters of the verse going as well. Don't know why I love like I do. D, A. After all the change. changes to C and the inversion I'd like you to use is this C in your left hand so you're coming from E I want to know and the reason I like that inversion is because now we're going to G can you tell me you just have to drop your two top fingers I want to know can you G in your left hand? This inversion of D, please. Because I want to. And that puts us back to the A. So again, C. Can you G tell me? D. I want to know. Take me to the river. back at the chorus. Now there's only one other part to learn. So it has a middle. It comes out of the out of the chorus. Jump me in the water. E. D. Washing me A. D. Down. So there we are at the end of the chorus. Now leave your right hand there. Move your left hand to C sharp minor. Your right hand can stay where it is playing that E formation, but it now becomes a C sharp minor when your left hand moves there. Hold me. Now move your inside fingers. Love me. And you've got an A. An A in your left hand, please, as well. Squeeze me. Same thing again. Squeeze me, tease me. Now play a G. Sometimes it has a B in it. On the recording, it definitely has a B in it. Cause I can't. It's just a G chord with a B on the bottom. Because the next chord is going to be a B major. Can't get enough. So you're going here. Can't get enough. Give it a little sustain pedal to get you through. Can't get enough. Let's just look at that again. C sharp minor. Hold me. 
seven if you want on the A. Please me. Please me. Tease me. To a G. So I can. To a B. Get enough. Take me to the river. Wash it. So, once you get comfortable with this movement, it's the main part of it. Get comfortable in different inversions as well. Get comfortable in this inversion. E, D, A. Take me to the river. E, E, D, A. So there are the two inversions I want you to think about. This one, the root inversion, and this one, the, se the second inversion. Once you've got that happening, come have a look at the advanced lesson and I'll show you some things about feels and maybe some altered chords too.